In our top story tonight, the Gun Violence Memorial Project has made its way to the Hostess City this weekend. And it's all about collecting remembrance objects from those who lost loved ones to gun violence. Now WSAV's News 3's Chase Justice has that story. At the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club, you can find pictures and items in remembrance of those whose lives were stolen by gun violence. Olga Williams lost her bonus son, Dominique, to a shooting on Hilton Head Island back in 2015. Now, he and thousands of others are on display at the National Building Museum's Gun Violence Memorial Project in Washington, D.C. This project is amazing. For you to be able to have an item of a hobby or something that your loved one loved doing and for the world to see and put on display for the world, that is beautiful. The project features three houses containing hundreds of glass slots, displaying pictures and mementos from those taken too soon. You get to honor, you get to say, my family member lived. Don't know if they would have been the doctor or the cure of cancer, but at least I want you to know that they lived and the gun violence memorial gives that opportunity. While there's still 700 open bricks at the memorial site in D.C., Dominique's father and bonus mom want to see the many families in Savannah that have been affected by gun violence to be represented so that their memory will continue to live on and that one day, Gun violence may not be the reason so many families are left grieving. People are being stolen all the time. And I want Savannah to come out tomorrow and I want them to flood us with memories of their loved ones so we can send a message out that their lives matter and their loved one has a legacy that needs to live on forever. In Savannah, Chase Justice, WSAV News 3, on your side. Remembrance objects will be continued to be collected tomorrow afternoon from 2 to 6 at the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club in downtown Savannah.